Welcome to Bezalon. This is an eight frame Langstroth hive body. Uh, they do a ten frame, but I don't use them because they're too heavy. It is so designed that no two surfaces the frames to the side body between the frames and the side to side shouldn't be closer than six millimeters or wider than nine millimeters Now, this is a frame with a guide bar in the center to allow the bees to build natural comb. They build out both sides and hang it from the top to the bottom. This is one where the bees have just started to build their comb. It could be anywhere along there, but it will fill out the whole thing. When you look at the leg on a frame, it has a nib on both sides, which is 4.5 millimeters. When you put two frames together, remember the bees build out right to the edge of both sides, it leaves a 9mm bee space which allows them to build back to back on both sides of the comb. I've always found that the first B space is not actually correct because of this uh, because of this 4.5 millimeter nib the B space is incorrect now what a lot of people do is after they fill the whole thing up frames they gap this just slightly to make it the six millimeter B space but I prefer to use a couple of pieces of 1.5 millimeter lollipop stick which I blue and tack to both sides I do this on every box, it gives me the correct B space of 6 millimeters, and I don't have to mess about. Now with my two spaces fastened at the ends, I get the correct 6 millimeter B space. Load it up with your frames. You can use frames with natural foundation on them. Or you can use frames that are plastic. So the bees are sometimes not too keen on uh, that type.
there is a little play side to side so that you can actually get your frames out but regardless of what regardless of which side it's pushed up against it's no smaller than six millimeters at the side nor greater than nine millimeters in the brood box it's very important that all the frames are pushed up and you have the correct bee spaces. You will have a void at this end and the bees will tend to make this outside comb fatter. But it doesn't matter because you have space to lift it in and out. I sometimes use a follow board which goes in closing up this space but keeping the six millimeter gap for the last frame I'll do a how-to uh, later on in the brood box if you don't keep the correct spacing say that one's wrong here and maybe here the bees will build some fat comb here anywhere along there and maybe on this one they'll build some fat comb here if you then put them in the wrong way around so that this bit of fat comb and this bit are opposite each other and you push them up together you'll squash bees in that fat comb or the bees will join them up together so that the two frames are stuck together I recommend you always use an inner cover unless you're putting the super on the top it doesn't matter whether it's vented or unvented. If it's a vented one, you can always put a little bit of timber across the top of here to shut it down. If you don't use an inner cover and you put a lid on, the bees will build all over the top of this with comb and if it gets big enough it'll stick down onto these frames and when you try to lift this off it's absolutely impossible if you can lift it off what will happen is you will rip up these frames inside Now the super or honey box is slightly different. You will have a queen excluder between the bottom brood chamber and the super box. Now what most people do is they leave this at six millimeters and then they space these out by about two millimeters so that this void is closed. Gap the frames two to three millimeters bigger than is normal. The bees will build comb that is slightly fatter but it doesn't matter because you're not 
taking out and putting back the frames as you do in the brood box. You're just taking them out to harvest the honey. But again, remember to use an inner cover before you put your lid on. Good day. Please remember to always consult with your local beekeepers as what works for me in the tropics may not work for you in your region. Thank you. For future videos and updates, please subscribe then click the bell.